A new day dawns for Britain and we can't even rig Big Ben, Nigel. What does that say to you? Good morning. Good morning. I tell you what was extraordinary yesterday. You know, Boris Johnson making a joke of it. Oh, you can, you know, we'll find some mechanism where you can put a pound in. Uh, it's almost as if the government are embarrassed by Brexit. They don't want to celebrate at the moment. You know, I have put an application in under leave means leave to book Parliament Square on the evening, to put up some staging, to have some singing, to have some music, have some speeches. Um, I've also applied to have some fireworks, which has been refused point blank. Um, Boris got elected, won a massive majority yes. on the basis of get Brexit done. Uh, and, and he can't even bring himself as Prime Minister to say, right, we are going to fund this. We're going we're gonna to show the world that we're organised and we're ready. And I, I frankly think that if around the world, at that moment of 11 o'clock, Big Ben doesn't strike, our country looks like a joke. What is it, to whom do you have to apply for permission to use the square, Nigel Farage? So I've done it before. I did it on March the 29th, which listeners will remember was the day we were supposed to leave the European <laughs> Union last year. Um, and you have to get permission from the Mayor's office and from Westminster Council. We did it last year as Leave Means Leave. We had a huge crowd of people. Everything was good natured. It passed off without any incident. So we have a track record. We've got people that can organise it. We've been toing and froing now for eight days. Um, I'm still hoping to get permission so there can be a party. Um, I'll push again on the issue of having a few fireworks. But frankly, um, if Big Ben won't bong, then I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll play the chimes out of our loudspeaker system.